Hey guys, this is Ekinjin Wen. So there's a new update for Samsung Internet Browser, and this seems to be a major update with some of the amazing features. So I'm just gonna show you what's new with version 14. So the new features we have is the improved privacy feature, security control panel, then we have the graph, and we got various protection features, so we're going to check that out in just a sec. And then we have the support font application on web pages. The same font that you're using on your phone, it can be applied on the Samsung internet as well. So that's very interesting. And then you also have enhanced smart anti-tracking feature. And it's going to be the latest version 3.0. And then we have a couple of awesome features. So let us find out and see what's new. So I'm just going to quickly update. Here we have the older version. So I'm just going to go to the system. Right here you can see this is the latest, the last update, version 13.2.3.2. Now let's see what's new here. I'm just going to go to the Samsung Internet for both. And I'm just going to show you what's new here. So just going to head to the settings. So you can see there are some changes. So let us see from the start. The sync with Samsung Cloud seems to be the same, home page search engine, and then you have the appearance on the older version, but with the new version, it has been repositioned to here. Now moving on, we have the customized menu here. We have that as well on the older version, but if you go to appearance, then you find it right here. Now I'm just going to go to appearance here since I already went here. So you can see that you get the exact same feature and the customized menu is now showing on the menu instead of inside the one of the settings. Anyways, going back, we have the high contrast mode, same here. Then we have the privacy and security. So let us see what's new right here. You can see this is the older version. You have the smart anti-tracking and a couple of awesome options. But here now you get to block backward redirection. So this is very useful and interesting. You have the block pop-ups with the graph. So that is also very nice. You get to see the number of trackers that's been tracking you each day with a graph and an option to enable the smart anti-tracking. You can leave it on or off or secret mode, totally up to you. And you get the same feature as the previous update. Cool. And you can even reset the privacy and security settings. Now moving on to personal data, you have the username and password. So similar to the previous version. And then moving on to useful features, the autoplay. So it's the same thing. Then laps. This is very interesting. So with the use system font for web pages. So just like I mentioned earlier, so before I turn this one on, I'm just going to change the settings very quick for the font. So let us change the font style to Gothic bold. And now I'm just going to enable that. So you can see that now the text is more bold and looks interesting. Anyways, guys, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Do like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace out.